Okay, today we're going to be looking at the Haitian Revolution, so let's look at the big ideas first. Now, the first one is explain how the French Revolution influences the Haitian Revolution. The second one is identify the leaders of the Haitian Revolution. And third, identify the causes and consequences of major political revolutions. Uh, so the time period we're looking at is the late 1700s, around the same time as the American and French Revolutions. And those ideas have spread from Western Europe to Latin America. Um, to colonists and also natives to these areas. Um, educated Creoles begin reading the works of Enlightenment thinkers. Creoles are um, the natives to some of these areas, um, especially in uh, the island of Haiti that we're going to be looking at. And along with that, copies of the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution are being shared among uh, what we would call the Creole elite. Uh, and one of those elites is this guy right here, Simon Bolivar, and uh, they are inspired, him and other young Creoles, by the ideas of liberty, equality, fraternity, all these things that have come out of the Enlightenment and the American and French revolutions. So, um, Latin Americans in general are looking for a spark. They're not really ready to dive in and overthrow um, the um, their European uh, colonizers uh, and what happens is in 1808 Napoleon invades Spain and, and for the most part the Spanish had uh, the most territory in Latin America um, and so what's going to happen is Napoleon places his brother Joseph on the Spanish throne uh, greatly weakening um, Spain and its colonies uh, and so Latin American leaders across uh, the entire continent are going to use this weakness of Spain to overthrow their foreign rulers. They look at it this way. Spain can't even control its own country. How can they control us uh, thousands of miles away? But there's actually an earlier revolt we need to look at. And this occurs on the island of Haiti, which is actually... Um, half of the island of Hispaniola, the other half being the Dominican Republic. Um, and it's a French colony, one of the very few French colonies in Latin America. As I said, the Spanish and the Portuguese had dominated um, colonization of this area. Um, and Haiti has a large uh, sugar plantation population. Um, that's one of its biggest exports. And um, the people that, I don't want to say run these plantations, but work them, are half a million African slaves. Um, and then in 1791, these slaves are going to revolt after being, um, you know, underfed, underfunded, overworked. Uh, they decide it's it's time to revolt, and they clearly have numbers. And they're going to be led by uh, this guy Toussaint Louverture, and he is actually a self-educated former slave. He's pretty much exactly what um, uh, the African slaves needed as a leader. And um, he is going to lead them, and they're not only going to have to throw off their French, um, the French, but also Spanish and British armies that are sent over to kind of crush this rebellion. And uh, it's going to lead to the bloodiest of all revolutions in um, the Americas, with the largest body count. Um, but by 1798, um, the slaves kind of won. Uh, slavery is abolished, and Toussaint's forces control most of the island. A few more years are going to pass, and in 1802, Napoleon is the leader of France, and he is going to send an army back over to Haiti to try to retake it. And um, Toussaint, once again, urges his countrymen to take up arms against the French. We've overthrown them once. We shouldn't let them come back over here and re-enslave us. Um, fighting goes on for a little bit, but by April of 1802, France had agreed to a truce, um, essentially saying, you know, we give up. <laughs> but before they go, they capture Toussaint and take him back to France, and, um, imprisoning him where he would eventually die. And the Haitians are going to continue to struggle for independence. Finally, after about another year, in late 1803, the French army had been decimated by yellow fever disease in that country. And uh, by January 1804, Haiti is able to declare itself independent. Um, and it's going to be another 15 years 
um, before it becomes an actual republic because there's numerous infighting among Haitian leaders. And so it's not until 1820 that it actually becomes a, a republic, a self-governed republic. So if we look back at the big ideas from today, um, explain how the French Revolution influences the Haitian Revolution, identify the leaders of the Haitian Revolution, and also the overall unit idea, identify the causes and consequences of major political revolutions.